Greetings everyone. So a few days ago the EU Parliament, the European Union Parliament, took a decision uh, that all EU countries would basically have to abide by a certain law and the law can be seen as going against, in fact it is going against Catholic Church teaching, so those countries that consider themselves Catholic are also going to, or they're going to try to force them to abide by this law. So I'll read you this article from a few days ago, and then I'll make some comments on it. Okay, so it's titled Same-Sex Marriages and Partnerships Should Be Recognised Across the EU. The EU should lift all obstacles facing LGBTIQ people when exercising their basic rights, say MEPs, that's members of the European Parliament. In a resolution on the rights of LGBTIQ persons in the EU, adopted with 387 votes in favour, 161 against and 123 abstaining, the European Parliament emphasises that these citizens should be able to fully exercise their rights, including the right to free movement, everywhere in the Union. Freedom of movement and rights of families in focus. The resolution states that marriages or registered partnerships formed in one member state should be recognised in all of them in a uniform way, and same-sex spouses and partners should be treated the same as their opposite-sex counterparts. Following the European Court of Justice ruling, which found that spouse provisions in the Free Movement Directive also apply to same-sex couples, the Commission should take enforcement action against Romania, where the government has failed to adopt national legislation to reflect the ruling MEPs ask. So already we have them basically saying Romania hasn't changed its law to fit our law, and uh, we should take action against them. The resolution also urges all EU countries to accept the adults mentioned in a child's birth certificate as their legal parents. More generally, MEPs want rainbow families, they actually say rainbow families, I didn't realise that was a term, to have the same right to family reunification as opposite sex couples and their families, to ensure that children do not become stateless when their families move between member states. MEPs argue that families should be treated the same across the EU. Finally, MEPs take note of the discrimination faced by the LGBTIQ communities in Poland and Hungary. Parliament calls for further EU action, infringement procedures, judicial measures and budgetary tools against these countries. So, essentially... They're going to try and punish the countries that are not agreeing to go along with what they have voted for. Now, I'm making this video particularly for viewers outside of Europe. I know that there's some viewers in the US, I think, that I have some subscribers. In the United States, we had a situation uh, in the past where each state got to decide their laws um, in terms of in re relating to marriage. Um, and many states in the US basically legalized gay marriage, and then there were a few states that didn't, just a handful. And I remember there were discussions back then talking about, oh, you know, some people were putting pressure on those states, saying, when are these states going to adopt, uh, you know, allow gay marriage? It's time, come on, when are they going to do it? And they didn't want to do it, and eventually the Supreme Court just said, well, all the states have to legalize it now. They didn't want to wait for it. They didn't know if it was going to be, if it was even going to happen in some states. So they just basically made a blanket law that all states have to accept. But the difference is that the USA is a country. Europe is not a country. It's a continent full of many countries. And there have been people who have been concerned that the EU, uh, the the EU Parliament wants to enforce laws on countries that are part of the EU. And that's never really what it was meant to be initially. It was meant to be like a union of countries, basically, who work together in certain areas. But each country is sovereign and they make their own 
rules. They make their own laws. They're voted for by their people, the governments of these countries, and they make the laws there. Um, and of course, for countries that are Catholic countries, um, and the government is very Catholic, like in Poland, for example, the Law and Justice Party is basically Catholic, I think in its entirety, or almost at least. And they have no intention of legalizing gay marriage there. But the EU is now trying to say, you must, you must accept. They're not saying you have to uh, make it legal to marry there yet, but they're saying if people who are married move in and live in your country, you must treat them uh, as a couple, a married couple. And so I just wanted to read that article for you to show what's kind of happening in Europe, um, that even though theoretically Europe is meant to be a continent full of countries who will make their own laws, the EU are trying to really enforce quite a few laws on countries, and if those countries don't accept, then they will be punished. As you can see, it said in the article, infringement procedures, judicial measures, and budgetary tools. That basically means taking money away from them or not giving them any funds. So yes, it's troubling, very troubling. Um, but that's the situation now. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.